Hello everybody, welcome back to another match of frankness. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, probably sack blind rage, play a grave lock. But first we must see what my opponent does. Order. Okay, ooh, actually we'll sack that. Play grave lock raider, there we go. I don't think I've seen that um, head choice before with the hood. I don't think I've seen that before. Huh, so it's ordering growth, you say. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's little point in going down there to destroy the idol because it's already done its purpose. Right now it's just a zero one wall. Oh, Doing that combo, okay. Of calling it back and bringing, okay. Well, hmm. Okay. Okay. So already sitting at three order and two growth. Four order and two growth. I kind of want to wait to play copper to counter a creature. And I may want to save that in case my opponent has a structure. I don't know. Mm. Let's sack Iron Whip for mana. And in the turn. Opponent is two mana above me now. With these darn idols. Okay. I'm gonna sup it supping. <laughs> Summon a copper automaton down here along with a grave lock and continue to deal damage to this idol. Now I'm hoping my opponent feels safe behind the zero one idol does not know that I have a incendiary to destroy it, so my copper can kill his skirmisher. I also hope he doesn't have a focus and a speed. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. My incendiaries will kill all those. <laughs> yes, feel safe. Feel safe. But not really safe. Alright, I'll sack one of those for mana. And let's end the turn. My opponent's like, No! That's what I would be like. Who uses incendiaries? I, I hardly ever see incendiaries as a spell taken. Alright, I will spark you. Well. Mm. Actually, I'm going to sack... I'm going to sack Desperation for cards. There we go. Play a Gravelock Outcast. Move him back. Put him as a blocker. And you know what? Actually, let me. Oh yeah, I already moved him. Duh. All right, now I will spark. And in my turn. My bad. I was gonna move up. I already forgot I moved him back. Okay. We'll sack Thunder Surge for more cards. Ooh, Iron Ogre, huh? 
play you there. Um, play a gun automaton, save spark in the turn. My opponent has a lot of mana. Six growth, four order. Oh god, Quake. <sighs> really? You got Quake in that deck, you piece of sh shtaco. Okay, we'll do that. We'll sack Spark for mana. And in the turn. I really hope he doesn't have another Quake. Okay. Sack a copper, play a ogre, and let's deal two damage to the saddle down here. At least an ogre can't be taken out by a quake, but these three guys can. Well, four. Oh wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So his skirmisher can go before my guy. So I'm actually going to move my guy down. I want to play a Copper Automaton here and sack Blind Rage for cards. Hmm. Actually going to Iron Whip him right now and then play a Scatter Gunner in my turn. If you have a chance to kill Order creatures, especially Skirmishers, which I believe to be the backbone of an Order army, then take it. Alright, so my opponent is trying to whittle down my ogre. To be expected. We shall summon the copper, or er, cannon automaton in front of him and end the turn. So my ogre can take out the bottom idol by it itself. But now I'm... Ooh, gosh, damn it. <laughs> Stop kabalking me, you piece of crap. They have six cars in your hand. What are you... Like, what is in your hand that you're not playing? Don't want another scatter gunner. Blind rage. Um... So if I just let both of them attack, this idol just is destroyed this turn. Six damage will go through from him, and then four from him. So I'll just do that. I'll play a... Hmm. Let's play the Grave Lock there. In the turn. It's a lot of nasty creatures I have out on the board. My god! How many Kabonks has this player played this time? He can only have three. That must be three. I, I thought he's been up to like four now. I'm wondering if he's trying to get everyone within Quake range. No, that's not going to kill him because of the armor. But that's a nice try, though. Um, let's sack that, see if we can get like a bombard. We did not. That is okay. I guess I'll just kill the Kinfolk Veteran. Yeah, that's fine, because these two can kill that next turn. So I'm going to move him up, play a Potion of Resistance on him right now. And actually, and play a Gun Automaton because I can. And end my turn. I could have dealt 5 damage to the idol, but again, killing all of his creatures is, you know, it all goes down the same road to me being victorious. Okay. So now my elder can take out him. Man, if I have a concentrate fire, which I have 3 of, that would be the bomb. Or a bombard. I would take a bombard as well. Okay. Oh wait. No, because I messed myself up because it's gun automaton. No! 
Because I need these guys to be switched. No! Wait a minute. Oh, okay, no, 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 I'm okay. <laughs> uh, oh, no, I'm not because I don't have enough mana to do it. Oh, yeah, I do. No, no, I'm still okay, sorry. I was thinking about Thunder Surging and Sparking him just to kill him, but no, 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 I can Spark him, I can Bombard, now the cannon will, or the gun will kill him, and then these two will kill the, uh, I don't know. okay, never mind. I'm okay. I'll say GG, and I will end the game. All roads lead to victory. Uh, so good game to my opponent. I was able to shut down every single infantry person that they put down in front of me, or creature, or whatever. And um, at the same time, I managed to get a lot of big, you know, big creatures out the cannon, especially the ogre, my you know, El elder gravelock. I had cannon automatons with iron whips, or not cannon, um, copper automatons with iron whips to have a turn one, you know, copper go forth and kill people. Um, so yeah, I kept shutting him down and he couldn't build up. Ah, and those quakes are still annoying though. I managed to call my gravelocks. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that match and I will see you all next time.